Chaotic scenes are almost the norm in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, wherever learners are going back to school. Such scenes are hiked bus fares, giving parents and students a hard time as they sought transport to various destinations. However, some of the schools have decided to give parents and learners an alternative by providing school buses to ferry them to school, but at a subsidized rate. Nancy Okware with that report. Such were the scenes at various bus termini in Nairobi City Day 2 as schools reopened for the third term. <laughs> the hustle and bustle in Kenya's capital quite evident as learners destined for various destinations try to catch the available public service vehicles. Apart from dealing with congestion, parents are often forced to pay high fares amid the tough economic times. <laughs> However, Things are different at the Green Park bus terminus. Some schools have their buses stationed here and learners stream in accompanied by their parents to be transported back to school. It is a move that has been held as safe as parents are assured their children are in good hands. Sometimes in those vehicles they are usually exposed to, to uh, items like drugs, of course from the public or non-students. And also in those uh, vehicles, we have case, we've had cases of them taking alcohol in the public vehicles and misbehaving. Sometimes they drop the students not at their respective destination. We decided that using the school, the school vehicle, we will be able to man them and to monitor them, to protect them from all these things. <laughs> The mode is also said to be pocket friendly. Using the school bus, we charge them the normal fare, but the public vehicles are usually charging them maybe double or triple the price, which is a burden to the parents. Back to the Central Business District, officials from the National Transport and Safety Authority in collaboration with the National Police Service are on a sensitization campaign on road safety. The campaign dubbed the Resmart seeks to instill a sense of personal responsibility among drivers and passengers and will run for eight months. There's a lot of activities now on our roads, a lot of travel. Uh, we are here to send out this message that when we are on that road, to Kue Dere Smart, to Wendesha Hayo Magari, uh, Komwendo Teratibu, to Fikisha Hayo, to Tawetu Shuleni, uh, Salama Salmini, Wendesha Hayo Magari, Taratibu, hata ukienda trip moja mbili tatu, you still make your money, but make it safely. As learners return to school for the final term of 2023, Parents and teachers from various learning institutions across the country have put in place measures to ensure the safety of the learners. Nancy Okware, reporting for Prime Edition, Nairobi.